Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Revexus video, and Papoy is finally here for the people who want Papoy. Let's see if there's any changes regarding Papoy or not. Uh, probably not, I'm gonna be honest, there's probably nothing. Nope, there's literally no changes here, because they're usually at the bottom now. Um, that's where they have them listed, so there's no change for Papoy. So if you just care about Papoy just because it's Papoy, then that's for you. But moving on, we actually are getting this leader skill buff for the um, Titus, the Neosian Titus. You have 500% attack magic and defense sphere 200% for water, water units, just like JP got. So that's actually a huge win for people who don't have a lot of leader skills. All right, here it is, guys. So the people who said this was going to be in April are taking a huge L. Because it's definitely coming, not in the not in the third. That's the obviously the live stream. Probably the seventh is when NV Plus comes out, guys. So there will be probably no FMA collab, and also Ridia is sent to the Shadow Realm, I think. So we we're looking at the schedule uh, later in this video. So stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, I mean, there's no reason to advertise this if the, if it's not coming, guys. This is this was the anniversary story. That introduced Neovision Plus, so there's no reason for this to come out if it's not coming. So we'll have to see how Gumi handles Neovision Plus, guys. Uh, stay tuned to the channel to get. I'll give my thoughts on it when it comes out, when all the information comes out. And don't be too alarmed with this. I mean, this came out I think before a lot of stuff came out, so uh, this is just some lapis you can get. And also a story if you want to listen to it. Uh, exchange shot for Popoy. Popoy's are suffering here, so if you care about it. But I mean, we are so close to the image plus I can almost taste it. Let's just see if that's going to, you know, amount to anything. We'll see. Anyways, moving to the JP side. Instead of Final Fantasy, it's going to be more Dragon Quest, which is actually surprising. I really thought it was going to be, you know, 7 or something. But no, it's, it's actually more Dragon Quest. So, like, I don't know why, but, I mean, okay. So, it's another Aris, I, I believe. And he's getting the drive mechanic. If you don't know what the drive mechanic is, I already, I made a video on it. Um, basically, it's, it's a buff on top of a buff. Similar to what Global got with uh, the... In the Clash of Wills, where you can stack buffs uh, that don't count for each other. It's the same thing here. Pretty much in a nutshell. Uh, not going to go too much into it. Because... I mean, this is only the second year that has it, but basically, more at the more actions you do with a certain category that he that he can do a drive for, uh, the better you'll be able to get the drive activated to, for that buff. And usually, at least for the for the first two, it's like 300% attack and magic buff, which is good because then you can have a 400. So you can have like 700% uh, attack and magic buff, which is insane in total. And then you have this guy who's not a leader or anything. This guy's the leader, so I'm, sure, I'm assuming this guy's just gonna be uh, nothing special or not. In fact, he's just he's in a very strange unit I saw on the live stream where uh, he's like a multiple elemental mage, similar to Graf, where he's just doing a bunch of stuff, but he has multiple elements for it. But his SLB doesn't give many modifier buffs or anything for his for his abilities, so I just, I don't think he's gonna be anything special. This guy will probably be more standard, more standard DPS. All right. It looks like that's it. So that was all I got for the JP side because there isn't much else to say. It's just the usual events that come out and stuff like that. So, oh boy, doing the event certificate event for a collab collab banner is not going to be very fun because. Remember when I made that video for like you need 300k EP to get the last reward? Well, you're gonna actually have to go even further than that, especially if you don't have a lot of bonus units. You're gonna have to go to 400, 450k or more to be able to finish the last box. Because you need a lot of you need a lot of um, certificates to get through all these boxes now. So some people might even have to go to 500k which is insane by the way that's that's way too much energy to use so hopefully this will be being tweaked soon because it just seems crazy to me um that's just crazy so let me know what you guys think about all this information 
live stream on the third, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for that. And that's going to be it. We can definitely be done in five minutes. All right. Leave a like if you like that in five minutes. Smash the like button. It's supposed to glow when, it's, when I say that. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.